Atomic absorption, more commonly known as AA, is a determination of the presence and concentrations of metals in liquid samples. Typical concentrations range in the low parts per million range. In atomic absorption spectroscopy, light of a specific wavelength is passed through the atomic vapor of an element of interest, and the measurement is then made using the intensity of light as a result of the absorption. The following components make up the AA instrument. The hollow cathode lamp is the source of analytical light line for the element of interest. It emits a constant and intense beam. It must contain the same element as the analyte being tested. The nebulizer is used to suck up a liquid sample at a controlled rate. It creates a fine aerosol spray for introduction into the flame source. The aerosol fuel oxidant are mixed thoroughly for introduction into the flame source. The monochromator isolates the analytical line photons passing through the flame. It ensures that only a narrow spectra of light impinges on the photomultiplier tube. The sample of interest is aspirated into the flame. Metals will absorb ultraviolet light in their elemental form when excited by heat as a result from the flame. The photomultiplier tube determines the intensity of photons of the analytical line exciting the monochromator. The photomultiplier tube is the most commonly used detector in AA spectroscopy. The graphite furnace is an electrothermal atomizer system that can reach temperatures up to 3000 degrees Celsius. Although it is not used in flame AA, it can be used to analyze very small absolute quantities of solution, slurry or solid samples. The first step requires the analyst to ensure that the gas valve is switched to an upright position. The extraction system is then switched on in order to extract fumes. The instrument is then switched on in which a green light will appear. The instrument parameters are selected and the save method is now chosen. Optimization is then selected and the enter button is pressed. This is followed by selecting results. Using the control panel, the cookbook option is selected, followed by the load method and the metal of interest is then chosen. The red button on the top left is pressed to reset the instrument. This is followed by the black button being pressed in order to light the pilot. A beaker of water is used to flush out the system. This may take a couple of minutes. A beaker containing a blank is then analyzed followed by the sample of interest. When finished, the machine is again flushed with water. This is followed then by the gas valve and extraction system being switched off.